What's going on, gamers? Today, we're going to go over how to set up a crossplay Minecraft server with Apex. One of the best features of Minecraft is the option that you have to play with friends and other players. But if some of your friends like Java and others Bedrock, things can start to get complicated. Thankfully, GeyserMC is a plugin that can be installed and configured onto a Java server to make sure Bedrock players are able to join. It also includes all of the plugins on the server, so every player gets the exact same experience. To start with the server install, first head to your Apex server panel and stop the server, and click the Customizations tab in the left-hand menu. Open the drop-down menu next to Geyser Installer and select Bucket, and then you can queue the installation and restart the server. This is going to automatically configure GeyserMC to run using your existing IP and port. You can confirm it worked by checking the server console and looking for a message from the plugin. If you need a manual installation for Geyser, which is a specific version other than the most recent, then you can follow these steps. First, visit the Geyser MC download page, and then find and click on the Geyser Spigot jar link. Save the jar file to a safe location, and then do the same thing for the Floodgate download page, where you're going to want to save Floodgate Spigot jar. Head to your Apex panel and stop the server, and then scroll down to the game file section and open the dropdown. Make sure you're running a plugin compatible version like Paper or Spigot, and after that, you can enter FTP file access. Log in, enter the plugins folder, and then press the upload button in the top left and drag and drop all of the jar files into the right hand side to upload. Once they are 100% completed, you can use your server name at the top of the page to return to the main panel where you can restart the server. Now, if you decided to manually install the Geyser MC plugin, then you're going to have to edit the config files. If you chose to use our automatic installation, then you're done. But servers using 1.19.1 and above will need to enable a specific option for Bedrock players to join. If you're running an older version than that, you can just install the VIA version plugin to allow you to meet the requirement. Like I said, for 1.19.1 versions, an additional setting is required to allow Bedrock players to join. From the main panel, enter the config files in the left menu, and then here you can find and click on the server settings option. Scroll down and find the enforce secure profile setting and then switch the setting to disabled and press save. After that, just restart the server to apply the changes. Now, if you did that manual setup from the Apex panel, stop the server and then go back to the FTP file access and log in. Head to the plugins and then geyser spigot directories and then find the config YML file and press edit to the far right. Next, you're gonna to want to find the bedrock section of the config file and then change the address to match your IP's address. Adjust the port to any random port, such as your server's existing one, and then find the remote section of the file with the address, port, and auth type options. Keep the address set to auto and then change the port to your five digit server port. Finally, switch the auth type to floodgate. Once this is complete, you can press save and then restart the server. Now for those who want to allow Xbox and Windows 10 edition players of Minecraft to easily join their Geyser server, you can consider using the MC Xbox broadcast extension. This third party tool makes it so your server is linked with a Microsoft account, allowing anyone to follow that account to join in the friends tab in game. Head to MC Xbox broadcast on GitHub and find the latest release and then click the jar file to download it. Save this to your computer and then head back into your server's files and go to plugins, geyser spigot, extensions, and then upload the extension here. Restart the server and open the console and look for an authentication message. Next, link any Microsoft account with the provided code and link, and then launch Minecraft and check the friends tab to see the server appear. Now, whether you want to use the automatic or manual method to install Geyser MC and Floodgate, Bedrock players are able to join the Minecraft server. Keep in mind that methods are going to be different depending on if they're using Xbox, PlayStation, or other consoles, but we do have a few tutorials if players need to know how to connect on these devices. For the computer, start Minecraft Bedrock and head to the server section and add a new server. 
and then enter the IP and port adjusted in the bedrock section from earlier. Once that's done, you can attempt to join the server, and if it works, you'll be able to join and play with your Java Edition friends. Now, before we go over some common issues, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all of our future videos. If you get a failed to bind error, this error can appear if the IP and port is incorrectly configured or already taken. Return to the config file and make sure the IP matches your servers, not including the port at the end. If you're using a random port for bedrock settings, try to use a different port number, or you can consider just using your server's default five digit port. If you get an error when connecting to the server, the two most common errors relate to necessary configuration settings. If the error says that you require a Java profile, make sure that the auth type is set to floodgate. Alternatively, if it mentions secure profiles, double check that the enforced secure profile setting is disabled. If a Bedrock player's skins aren't appearing, a majority of the time Bedrock skins are not going to appear properly to Java players. To add skins for these players, you can consider using a plugin like Skins Restorer so that everybody can have the skin that they want. Whether your friends only play on Xbox or they just like the Bedrock version of the game more, now playing with them on the same server is easy to do with Geyser. Just remember that anytime the game updates, it's probably a good idea to update the Geyser MC and Floodgate files on the server. Just repeat these steps and replace the old jar files with the newer ones and you'll be back to playing in no time. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.